So. Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Wednesday, November 17th. The opening sentence is from Habakkuk. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. The confession of sin. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. Apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. This morning we'll be using the Jubilate, and the Jubilate is found on page 15. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Oh, go your way into his gates of thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. We'll now have the Psalm reading and the New Testament reading. The Psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 45. My heart overflows with a noble song. I will sing my words to the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are fairer than the children of men. Full of grace are your lips, because God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, most mighty one. According to your honor and majesty. In your majesty be victorious. Ride out for the sake of truth, to bear witness to righteousness. And your right hand shall show, your marvelous, shall show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. And the people shall be subdued under you. Your throne, O God, endures forever. The scepter of your kingdom is a righteous scepter. You have loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments smell of myrrh aloes, and cassia. Out of the ivory palaces, stringed instruments have made you glad. King's daughters are among your honorable women. At your right hand stands the queen in a vesture of gold, wrought with many colors. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king have pleasure in your beauty. Since he is your Lord, honor him. And the daughter of Tyre shall bring you gifts. The rich also among the peoples shall seek your favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within the palace. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought to the king in embroidered raiment. The virgins who are her companions shall bring her to you. With joy and gladness shall they bring her. And shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of your fathers, you shall have sons. Whom you shall make princes in all the land. 
I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore, the peoples shall praise you world without end. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The New Testament reading is uh, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles beginning with the 17th chapter, the first verse. Paul and Silas in Thessalonica. Now when they had passed through Amphilius and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where there was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul went in, as was his custom, and on three Sabbath days he reasoned with them from the scriptures, explaining and proving that it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead, and saying, This Jesus, whom I proclaim to you, is the Christ. And some of them were persuaded and joined Paul and Silas, as did a great many of the devout Greeks, and not a few of the leading women. But the Jews were jealous, and taking some wicked men of the rabble, they formed a mob, set the city in an uproar, and attacked the house of Jason, seeking to bring them out to the crowd. And when they could not find them, they dragged Jason and some of the brothers before the city authorities, shouting, These men who have turned the world upside down have come here also, and Jason has received them. And they are all acting against the decrees of Caesar, saying that there is another king, Jesus. And the people and the city authorities were disturbed when they heard these things. And when they had taken money as security from Jason and the rest, they let them go. Paul and Silas in Berea. The brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. And when they arrived, they went into the Jewish synagogue. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Many of them therefore believed, with not a few Greek women of high standing as well as men. But when the Jews from Thessalonica learned that the word of God was proclaimed by Paul at Berea, also there, they came there too, agitating and stirring up the crowds. Then the brothers immediately sent Paul off on his way to the sea, but Silas and Timothy remained there. Those who conducted Paul brought him as far as Athens, and after receiving a command for Silas and Timothy to come to him as soon as possible, they departed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On page 17 in the Book of Common Prayer. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing an endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, and the Holy Spirit advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help our people. Brought with, bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Apostles, page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty 
creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. A collect for grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor run into any danger, and that, guided by your Spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now a time for prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this new day that you have blessed us with. Oh, I would ask you that you would especially be with the various missions our church supports. Jean, who, uh, with crew, who uh, ministers in Denver, Child Evangelism Fellowship here in New Mexico, and many others. Thank you for them and help them to succeed in sharing your word with others. Heavenly Father, I especially today lift up Meredith Omland, a missionary in Mexico with Sam's. I was blessed to meet her this past weekend and found out that there are dangers that um, I had no idea about in, in the area where she is ministering. Lord, protect her, keep her safe, help her to follow your leading, to move as you would have her to do, one foot in front of the other, other just as you ask her to. I would also lift up um, LifeQuest um, and their Christmas project of of uh, hope to the young people in Mexico prisons. Um, I ask that you raise up more mentors uh, to help in the prison uh, to guide these young people to a better way. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings you pour over us and our families and we thank you that you guide us each day. You show us what you would have us do. I ask especially now this week and this weekend that you would bless the ministry of Kairos, which we support for the first time in 20 months. Uh, volunteers are able to go back into the women's prison here in New Mexico. I ask that you would keep this weekend safe, that you would pour your protection and your presence over the women in the prison at grants that you would call them, that you would quicken their hearts to come be present this weekend with the volunteers who go in. Um, there will only be four of us who are able to go in who have been cleared for that, but that you would keep this weekend protected 
and special and, and blessed with the presence of the Holy Spirit, that you would um, protect the staff uh, and all of the inmates out there, and that you would protect this in all ministries who reach out to young people and adults who are incarcerated and to their families. Um, and the other ministries that have been mentioned that reach the young people to keep them from being incarcerated as adults. It is not a good place to be. It's the playground of the devil. And so, Lord, I ask especially that you would fill these places with your light and your presence, that you would reach out through uh, Angel Tree and other ministries to the families of those who are locked up, that you would minister to them and to the children of the incarcerated, to the spouses and partners of the incarcerated, especially this time of year, that you would reach out to every nook and cranny, every dark spot, and fill it with your light. All these things we ask in your name. A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace for Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.